What's happening everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. It is that time, neighborhood spotlight time. Today we are hitting up a neighborhood that brings back some great memories. It's actually where I did my very first open house when I became a new agent. We're hitting up Hyde Park. So Hyde Park is located just north of the UT campus. So North Central Austin. Um, it pretty much stretches from 35th Street up to 51st Street. It's west of I-35. Um, and this neighborhood is very special. I think the best word to use to describe it is charming. There's a lot of history in Hyde Park. You'll find homes built over 100 years ago, Victorian style homes, craftsman style bungalows. There's actually a lot of new construction popping up in there. One of my favorite parts about the neighborhood is all the little small cafes, shops, restaurants that really just give it a homey feel. The streets are lined with beautiful oak trees. And when you go out on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, you'll see all the neighbors out enjoying all the beautiful things that Hyde Park has to offer. So today we're gonna to take a look at some of the restaurants and entertainment in Hyde Park. We'll take a dive into the market statistics. We'll check out the schools and I'll give you a rundown of what to do if you're living in the Hyde Park area. Um, one of those things involves a golf course that holds an important piece of Texas history. You'll have to stay tuned to find out more on that. So I'm gonna hop in the car now and we're gonna head over to Hyde Park for this neighborhood spotlight. All right, so as you know, if you've watched some of my other neighborhood spotlights, one of my favorite things to do in each neighborhood is hit you with some of my favorite coffee, restaurant, entertainment. Hyde Park is at the top of the list with some of the best spots to go to. Actually, they're not quite as well known, but some of the most delicious spots in Austin. Let's start with coffee. We've got Flight Path Coffee and Epoch are two of my favorites. Um, two places that are great to go, get some work done, get a nice cup of joe, highly recommend. And then if you come to Duval Center, which is located at 43rd and Duval, there are several little shops and restaurants right in this one little square that you don't even have to leave this bubble. So right now I'm actually at Asti Trattoria, which is a quaint little Italian restaurant. It's delicious, got my little espresso here. They have a Chaccio e Pepe, which is to die for. I had one in Italy. It definitely stacks up with some of the best I've ever had. Um, Julio's Mexican restaurant is around the corner. Antonelli's cheese shop. There's another little Italian cafe called Uncle Nicky's. All these spots are just great to pop into. And of course you can't forget, this isn't necessarily my cup of tea, but Mother's Cafe is a vegetarian restaurant since 1980. Um, I'm more of a meat guy myself, but if you're in the neighborhood and you're looking for a nice veggie cuisine, make sure to go across the street over to Mother's. And last, but certainly not least, Home Slice, which is one of my favorite spots on South Congress, opened another location. It's not in Hyde Park, but it's near Hyde Park, so you can't forget it. You've gotta go to Home Slice up in North Loop. And little tip, this Home Slice actually has wings, which, again, if you've seen my top four wings of Austin video, shout out to that one. Home Slice is a great place to get one of my favorite foods. Let's go on, check out some of the homes in the neighborhood, some of the market stats, what make this neighborhood so desirable. Ciao, Bella. All right, let's take a dive into the real estate market and what to expect buying a home in Hyde Park. Well, let's start with the proximity to UT. So you see a lot of grad students or upperclassmen renting homes in the neighborhood, but also when you walk the streets of the neighborhood on a weekend morning, for instance, there are several people out with strollers, with their dogs, walking, enjoying the beautiful scenery. So what kind of homes will you find in Hyde Park? There are apartments for rent, there's condos, um, lots of bungalows, lots of historical homes. In fact, many of the homes, you'll see a plaque on the front door, or right next to the front door, they're actually historical landmarks. So what does that do to the prices? Well, 
it's gonna drive the prices up because you're in a great area, you're close to downtown, convenient to restaurants. So in 2019, the median sold price was $594,500. The median days on market was eight days. So again, like most of my neighborhood spotlights, homes in this neighborhood move quickly. And really there's a pretty big range for home prices, anywhere from $300,000 all the way up to $1.3 million. So there are a lot of options, a lot of variety in Hyde Park. So come check it out, see if what you're looking for exists in this incredible neighborhood. So I showed you when we were taking a look at the market stats, what the neighborhood feel is with the nice trees, the nice greenery. Well, there's lots to do and really just being outside in the neighborhood is probably my favorite thing to do. Um, second, you can hit up Hancock Golf Course, a nine hole golf course. Uh, just be careful slicing the ball when you're teeing off near Red River. I've hit a car or two in my day. You know I like to always hit you with a fun fact about the neighborhood. Well, fun fact about Hancock Golf Course, it was built in 1899, which actually makes it Texas's oldest golf course. Yes, not just Austin's oldest, Texas's oldest. If you're not into golf, make sure to hit up Shipe Park. They got a playground, basketball court, um, grassy fields where Fido can go to go for a little run. People are always out there, kids, pets, just having a good time. And last, let's jump into the school scene in Hyde Park. It's split with elementary and middle schools. So there's two elementary schools. Your kids will either be going to Lee Elementary or Ridgetop. For middle, they'll either be going to Keeling Middle School or Lamar Middle School. And for high school, McCallum is the only school zoned for Hyde Park. Out of those three, Lee, Keeling, and McCallum are all the highest rated, all a seven out of 10 or above on gradeschools.com. All right, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this neighborhood spotlight of Hyde Park. Maybe you can come to this neighborhood and hit a hole in one by buying the perfect home. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button down low. We will catch you on the next Neighborhood Spotlight.